Hi everyone, this is Darren with Sim Nation. Um, I actually streamed this live yesterday, which was the championship game for WWPF, which face has the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Carolina Panthers. Uh, but the stream was kind of messed up. Uh, so I'm going to go back and restream the game for those who wanted to see it, because uh, there are some people outside of the league who have asked for this. So, um, so I'm going to try some new things with this. Hopefully it works. Um, the screen looks right this time, so hopefully I won't have to worry about that. Um, at the end of the day, uh, Pittsburgh versus Carolina, these two teams have a history. They have met twice in the Super Bowl. Uh, Carolina, of course, is a visible witness who, for those not aware of WWPF, is one of the coaches I hold in high regard. He has a tremendous record within the league. Um, he has been to multiple Super Bowls. He's won. Uh, so, ironically, against Pittsburgh. Um, and then, of course, you have the Pittsburgh Steelers, who are coached by me. Um, Pittsburgh is going for its third title. Um, they have met Carolina twice before this game. Uh, the series is tied 1-1. Uh, Pittsburgh won the first meeting, Carolina won the second meeting. Uh, some names to watch in this video uh, from the Pittsburgh side of the house. Um, uh, Lackey, who is Pittsburgh's star running back, is someone to keep an eye on throughout this game. Um, and then you'll be looking on offense to see what Faison, who is the backup quarterback for Pittsburgh, will do. Um, and then, of course, they have some talented rideouts with Timothy Dill, Ellis Wright, um, uh, Jose Flores, and people like that. Uh, Pittsburgh's defense is one of the top in the league, uh, so they are very uh, pressure-oriented. So Carolina is going to have to deal with that throughout the game. Um, and Pittsburgh also has some of the best uh, corners in the league with Dominique Burke and uh, Spite, who's on the opposite side. Um, for Carolina, they can get it done in multiple different ways, but it really starts with Zelensky, who is their star quarterback. Um, Zelensky kind of has big game uh, problems sometimes where he doesn't show up as well as you'd want him to, but he is one of the most productive quarterbacks in the league. Uh, Timothy Willis is a name to make sure that you keep in the back of your mind. Uh, he's a former Washington State running back who is one of the top running backs who has a lot of, uh, he's not one of the top running backs, he has a lot of potential and is up on the top of the chart when it comes to potential. He hasn't fully realized it yet. Um, Schumacher is a name to watch. Maddox is another one on the wide receiver cores for Carolina. They have some really good wideouts. Pittsburgh will have to deal with that. Sam King is probably one of the fastest tight ends in the league. Uh, so don't expect Pittsburgh to put linebackers on them. And of course, normally Pittsburgh would put Adam Lyons, who is Pittsburgh's best linebacker, on them. But Lyons, of course, is hurt for this game. Um, and that'll be a little bit of a story coming into this game. There's some injuries on both sides. Pittsburgh will be without Pierce, who's their actual starting quarterback, and also without Lyons, who's their starting outside linebacker. Uh, and then on defense, uh, Carolina can get it done in many different ways. They have really good uh, cornerbacks. Um, and then keep an eye on Wesley, who is their talented defensive end. So I think if you look at the keys of this game, uh, it's going to be really um, for Carolina, uh, stop the blitz from Pittsburgh. Uh, if Pittsburgh can get pressure on Zelensky, Zelensky's history in big games may come back to haunt him. Um, and on offense, it's going to be to essentially vary the, up the offense and keep Pittsburgh's defense honest. On defense, it's going to be get pressure on Faison uh, and then deal with Lackey uh, in his running style. Um, just bear in mind that Pittsburgh got held by way of beating Oakland, who's Petal, uh, and they did it with a unorthodox approach of throwing the ball. Pittsburgh is really a running team at the end of the day, whereas Carolina got held by beating uh, L.A., uh, the L.A. Rams, which is Barry, uh, and they did it through a solid defense and a solid balanced attack. So balance is going to be important for Carolina. For Pittsburgh, it's own the time of possession and really get pressure on Zelensky. If they can do those two things, they'll be in a good position to win this game. Uh, so without further ado, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start the game. Uh, and I'm going to try my best to keep up. Um, so, um, 
So Pittsburgh wins the toss. Uh, they kick off. Uh, Carolina will kick off to Pittsburgh. Um, of course, Taylor, who's a really talented kicker for the Panthers, sends it through the back of the end zone. Um, we'll see what Pittsburgh does on the first play here. They're going to hand it off to Lackey. He really goes nowhere. And again, Resley's the one making the tackle. That makes sense. So Pittsburgh's coming out in a shotgun. Uh, probably see that more. Faison is still hoping to give Faison enough time to throw the ball. He does, and he finds this time, uh, I believe that's Flores, uh, for 24 yards. So that gets him first and 10. Um, Pittsburgh, again, Faison's going to drop back. Uh, he finds Timothy Dill this time for nine yards, so it'll be like second and one. Um, Uh, phase in again, Pittsburgh coming out throwing the ball, which is uh, kind of reminiscent of what they did against Oakland. He finds Ellis Wright, who's one of the 2,000-yard wide receivers for Pittsburgh for 12 yards, gets the first down. So Pittsburgh's moving the ball pretty well. Hand off to Lackey. Lackey's dancing and getting outside. Uh, this is something that Lackey does very well. He's one of the best rushers, and they bring him down on the one-yard line. Um Lackey just couldn't get in. So see if Pittsburgh just gives it to Lackey. Nope, they're going to throw it. And Faison's got tons of time, and he is throwing out the back of the end zone uh, for a touchdown and finds Flores uh, for the touchdown. So really good start for Pittsburgh as they go down the field and score uh, pretty quickly for Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh normally doesn't score that fast. So kick off by Clark. Um, they're going to bring it out of the end zone. Really good return hill, about 36 yards, I think, uh, from Willis. And he's finally brought down. So we'll see what Carolina is going to do. Uh, Carolina has a lot of good backs. Batiste is a former Maryland Terrapin. Uh, really good career there. Only rushes for zero yards. You'll also notice a lot of times that... Um, Zielinski's dropping back. Let's see if he can find someone. He's aiming for Schumacher, but that's incomplete, broken up by Spite. Uh, this will make it third and 10 uh, for Carolina. Uh, Pittsburgh's getting pressure, and Pacheco, who's one of the two talented tight ends for defensive ends for Pittsburgh, gets the sack. So Carolina will have to punt. Um, but what I was saying about Carolina is they have some really good running backs in Batiste and Willis. You will also see them do a lot of wildcat. Um, so the punt's pretty good, but the return is really good as well. This could go, but it doesn't. So 49-yard return by Dominique Burke. Uh, and Pittsburgh will take over at the Carolina 31. Uh, hand off to Lackey again. Lackey goes for four yards. Um, so to bring up second and six, or second and five in this case. Um, and Faison's going to drop back again. Uh, he has a wide open person, but he doesn't see him. Barreto breaks up uh, the pass to deal. Barreto is a very talented cornerback for Carolina as well. Uh, so Faison's going to drop back again. He's looking, and this time he finds deal uh, for the first down, and Barreto makes the tackle. Um, so again, uh, Faison dropping back. He's got time. This time he finds right for five yards. He's got a pretty good start going. He's five or six for 62 yards. Um, so he drops back again. Carolina gets in. Uh, Baskins gets the sack for six yards. Great play by Carolina, um, which will bring up a third and 10 on the Carolina 11. Uh, Faison going to drop back again. No shock here that they're going to throw the ball. Uh, he's looking. He finds Flores in the end zone for his second touchdown reception of the game. Uh, so Pittsburgh, just like that, is up 14 to nothing um, with 4.50 left in the first quarter. Uh, Pittsburgh kicks the ball off. Uh, this one looks like it'll go through the back of the end zone. Clark and Taylor are probably two of the best kickers in the league right now, so this should be interesting if they get in a kicking matchup. Carolina really needs a score here, by the way. Uh, so he's going to look. It looks like he's got Schumacher open. Schumacher gets 29 yards before Spike can bring him down. Really good pass still. Um, it looks like they may be in the Wildcat. Um, yeah, and Willis uh, makes a short gain. 
Um, like I said, you'll see a lot of that. So uh, Zelensky is going to drop back. He's looking, uh, get, looks like he's going to throw it to King, but it's broken up by Burke. Uh, Pittsburgh, I think, will be successful if they can keep Burke on King. Um, Zelensky drops back. He's looking again. He's got good time. And looks like he finds Maddox out on the edge uh, for 15 yards. And that's a first down. Uh, Jefferson, of course, is a new addition from Pittsburgh. I think he came over from um, Indianapolis or something like that. But good run by Batiste for five yards. Carolina is definitely moving the ball with purpose. Um, Zelensky drops back again. Uh, after some jitters, he has really started to settle down. Eight-yard gain to Schumacher, again brought down by Spite. I think you're going to see that battle throughout the game as Spite versus Schumacher. Uh, they're going to run the ball. Batiste, again, doing a really good job of running the ball, 13 yards, um, and gets the first down. It's first and goal on the Pittsburgh three. Let's see what they do here. And they're going to run it again, and it looks like Batiste got in from three yards out. So really good drive there. Uh, powered a lot by Zelensky and also Batiste. Uh, so it's now 14-7. to Carolina kicks it off. Um, they definitely need to try to get a stop here with Pittsburgh. Uh, really bad decision by Flores to bring that out of the end zone. Uh, so Pittsburgh will start at their own 10. Um, see what they do here. Faison's dropping back. He's got some time again. And he completes the pass for 26 yards um, to right. And that's the first down. So Pittsburgh definitely is moving the ball with purpose. Um, seven of eight for 78 yards so far. He's got lots of time. And that one's broken up by Anderson. He's aiming for Phelps, the tight end. Uh, so that'll bring up second and 10. Um, kind of would like to see Pittsburgh run the hill. Uh, Lackey's back. Had time. He's going deep, but misses right, um, which will bring up third and 10, uh, which means they're going to have to throw the ball pretty much. And he's got lots of time again. Let's see what he can do with that. And he finds uh, right for seven. Not enough. Hollenbach brings him down fourth and two. Pittsburgh will pump with just 18 seconds left in the first quarter. And what's largely been a, uh, it's it's a close game. I mean, it's only 14-7. Carolina gets the ball back. Um, let's see what they can do. Zelensky's dropping back. He's got, uh, he had a wide open wide receiver in Schumacher, but didn't throw it to him. And Sam King drops the ball. So we're now in the second quarter with Pittsburgh up 14-7. to Zelensky drops back. Uh, he's got Maddox open if he can get the ball to him. Uh, 17 yards. Jefferson makes the tackle, of course, because it looks like he threw the ball a little bit behind. And now we'll see what they'll do. Um, looks like the Wildcat again. Willis gets three yards before he's tackled by Doherty, one of the Pittsburgh linebackers. Uh, this looks like Wildcat again. Fulcher, who had a really good career at NC State dancing and making the most out of it. He runs for 14 yards. Um, really good job by him. Looks like they're still in the Wildcat. Can try that again. And this time, I don't think they're going to get much as Rix is sitting there waiting for him. Rix is actually, and of course, Pittsburgh gets a penalty. Too many men are filled. Rix is actually a former Panther, um, who is the, one of the backup defensive ends on Pittsburgh. And Wildcat, uh, Batiste runs for a short gain. Uh, so they'll bring up third and five and see what they do. He'll, he gets three yards. Um, and it's fourth and two. They're going to go for it. And Willis will get the first down. That was a ballsy move. Really good job. Uh, he runs for 12 yards on fourth down. Um, and now let's see what they do. Zelensky's going to drop back. And he's aiming for Maddox. Maddox gets it for 15 yards, tackled by Asbury, who's a free safety. It's first to go on the Pittsburgh nine. Carolina's moving the ball really well right now. Um, got some time, but there's a blitz. It looks like they picked it up, and it looks like he found Schumacher uh, for the touchdown. So 14-14, all tied up. 
a really good job of um, getting back in the game really quickly. And again, uh, a shootout will probably favor Pittsburgh a little bit more than Carolina. But um, the fact is, is that Carolina is really starting to wake up and do good things. Burke gets a 27-yard return. Um, see what Pittsburgh does here. They hand it off to Lackey. Willie pitch it more, it looks like. Lackey runs for nine yards. Um, they may try to run Lackey a little bit here to try to slow the game down. Uh, Lackey gets the first down. Um, see what they do on first down. And Faison drops back. He's got some time again. Nobody's pressuring him. Pittsburgh's line is doing a pretty good job of keeping it open. Deal was wide open and dropped that one. That could have been a touchdown. But, yeah. Uh, so they hand it off to Lackey. Lackey's going to make a pretty good run hill. One man to beat, it looks like. And they run him down, which is Barreto. Barreto's going to win that foot race most of the time. Uh but if Pittsburgh can get the run going, it'll open up the pass for them. Um, not that they have much of an issue. Um, Faison's having a pretty good game. So really good pass. Let's see if he can get in. He doesn't. He gets run down at the one-yard line again. 31 yards for Flores. Otherwise, that would have been like his third touchdown. Let's see what Pittsburgh does here. They're just going to hand it to Lackey, who punches it in from a yard out. So it's now 21-14, uh, Pittsburgh. Um, they will kick the ball off, and let's see, and looks like Clark sent that one through the end zone again. Um, Batiste, I think, is on. Yeah, he is. He only gets like a yard. Um, take a look real quick and see who's having a good game. Zelensky drops back. It's a safety blitz, and Asper gets to him. Zelensky is 6 of 9 for 93 yards. Uh, Batiste has actually probably been the better of the runners. Uh, that one kind of hurts a little bit. Um, and Zelensky will drop back. He's got time this time, but it looks like some pressure and tries to throw it to Schumacher, and Spike breaks it up. So they'll have to punt. Uh, looks like a pretty decent punt hill from. Petit, Burke gets a good return of 17 yards, 49-yard punt, 17-yard return. Uh, Pittsburgh has about 3 minutes and 21 seconds left in the second quarter to see if they can uh, get something going. They try to hand off the Lackey, who only gets a yard. Um, Lackey, of course, has 69 yards, but right now Faison is actually probably the person who's doing the most. Tries to find Flores, falls incomplete. That was double coverage. That probably wasn't a good idea. Um, let's see what happens here. He's got some time. He throws it. Good completion. Uh, Beretta runs him down, but it's coming back because the central boon had an illegal block above the waist. Lentz has a false start, who's the backup running back, Delacky. So now third and 23 with two minutes left. I don't they're really not going to get the first down here, I think. Because it looks like um, uh, Carolina is completely in uh, prevent. So uh, he finds Flores for 15 yards, but they'll have to punt it. Um, decent punt from Barnes. Um, no return. Uh, and Carolina will try to do something in the final minute and 42. Um and it looks like pressure, and Zelensky throws the ball away. Uh, probably a smart move, though. Um, I don't think they're going to run the ball. I think Zelensky's going to probably throw the ball. He's got Maddox if he can get it to him. And he does, and really good gain. That is a really good throw, because uh, he's on the opposite side of the field throwing to the outside. So 35 yards to Maddox. Um, that will definitely help move the ball. He's got some time, but Perry gets to him and sacks him for 11 yards. They probably will burn a timeout here, I would think, with 1 minute 13 seconds left. No, 59 seconds. I guess they're not going to burn a timeout. Uh, so he's looking. He's got time. 
find Schumacher who gets just a lead on Spites. Spites is going to run him down probably. Spites one of the faster corners in the league, but 34 yard gain for Schumacher. Um, 41 seconds left. And first and 10 on the Pittsburgh 31. He's got time, but he's getting pressure now. And that falls incomplete to Jackson. Um, probably maybe like three or four more plays. 30 seconds left. Uh, second 10 on the Pittsburgh 31. Again, he's got time. This time he finds uh, Batiste underneath for six yards. Bray gets a tackle, but they call a timeout. And probably expect him to try to go to the end zone hill. I hope he... He's got Maddox open if he can get the ball to him, but he throws a Schumacher instead. That ball is incomplete. Schumacher, of course, was double covered. They decide to kick the field goal with seven seconds left, and it's a 42-yard field goal. Good with Taylor. Um, they kick it off. I don't think that there's going to be any time for any other plays in this one. And Burke returns it for 14 yards, and that should be the end of the first half. I think it is, yeah. So at the end of the first half, it's Pittsburgh 21, Carolina 17. Game is really close when you think about it. Um, on the on the uh, Carolina side is Zelensky not having the best of games, but he has 168 yards with one touchdown, so nothing to look past still. Uh, Pittsburgh has largely done a pretty good job of keeping um, the rushing attack of Carolina in check. Uh, Maddox and Schumacher doing what you would expect on the opposite side of the ball. Uh, Faison's having a really good game, and Lackey has been doing well too. So let's go ahead and play the uh, second half hill. Um, so Pittsburgh will kick to Carolina. Carolina will get the ball first, and let's see how they open up. Uh, there's a return this time. Looks like a pretty decent return. Uh, 28 yards by Null. Um, and we'll see how they come out. Uh, Wildcat, it looks like, and Batiste gets stopped for zero yards. And again, it is Alinsky back. He's got some time. There's no real rush. Um, and that is incomplete to King. I'll bring up third and 10 with 14 minutes left in the opening drive of the second half. He's got time again, and he has Schumacher open, but Schumacher can't bring it in. So I'll force a punt, um, and Petit punts it about 40 yards. Burke only returns it two. So let's see what Pittsburgh does. Um, this will be their first drive of the second half. Uh, they're up 21 to 17. Uh, looks like Faison's got some time, but he throws in the double coverage and it falls incomplete. Let's see what he does here. Faison drops back again. It's a short drop, but he's got Deal open. Deal is going to get chased down by Barreto after a 27 yard gain. Um, it's a handoff to Lackey. Lackey will go off tackle, it looks like, and really good gain heel from Lackey, who gains 22 yards before Oliver trips him up. Uh, there's encroachment by Oliver. Uh, bring up first and 10 on the Carolina 11. First and five on the Carolina 11, sorry. So I hand off to Lackey again. Lackey's dancing. He's headed for the end zone, and he's in for an 11 yard gain. So Pittsburgh is now up 28 to 17. And Pittsburgh will kick it off. One of the things about both of these kickers is they tend to kick the ball out of the back of the end zone to prevent returns, uh, which is traditionally, I think, kind of what you want. Um, so let's see what happens here. Uh, Zelensky's gonna drop back. He's got some time. And he finds, I think that's Jackson. Jackson's going to get chased down from behind uh, for 44 yards, but Maddox apparently is hurt. So that'll be interesting. Batiste uh, makes a short gain. Um, losing Maddox actually will hurt Thumb. Jackson's pretty fast from what I remember, but I think that that's just going to throw some things off. 
So he completes it to Batiste, but Batiste is hit in the backfield, can't go anywhere. It looks like Null is in. I wonder if that's his real name is Null. Uh, but it falls incomplete. Uh, they'll have to kick the field goal. It's a 48-yard attempt. And it's good. So it's now 28 to 20. Uh, Pittsburgh with, with 834 left in the third. Uh, I'll have to look up. Uh, I wonder if that guy's name is Willie Null. And it's through the back of the end zone. Uh, so last two kicks have been through the back of the end zone by both people. Um, uh, Faison's dropped back. He Looking for Lackey. Lackey gets it for four yards. Um, Faison has 184 yards with two touchdowns so far. He drops back again. And this time, it looks like he's looking for right, but that is incomplete. And drops back again. Lots of protection. Finds Tolliver, who is the rookie, out of Maryland for nine yards. And they get a false start on deal. And we'll see what they're doing. They're out of a spread. Uh, it's going to take his time. He's got time. And it looks like he's going to throw to Lackey, who gets a 12-yard gain, which will make it like second and three, something like that. we got time again. It's got all open, all really wide open on the outside. Uh, finds uh, Flores. Flores is having a pretty good game. Um, for 32 yards, I think that was. Uh, so Lackey, they're trying to run it. He only gets a yard. He has over 100 yards at this point, too. Um, and second and eight on the Carolina 20. Uh, they're getting some pressure on Faison, but he completes the pass. And it will be 19 yards uh, for the first down to right. Um, and Pittsburgh is just going to hand off to Lackey and let him go in. Uh, so it's now 35-20. It, it, getting a little away from Carolina. Um, so with 314 left, 310 left in the third, Carolina definitely needs a score on this drive. Um, otherwise, it's going to start to get away from them. Uh, that one's through the back of the end zone. Again, between Clark and Stewart, I don't, or Clark and Taylor, uh, I don't expect there to be many that don't go through the back of the end zone. So Willis ones for a yard before Bray brings them down. Um, Zelensky drops back. Uh, he's got Jackson open again. Jackson is just like really taking it to Jefferson. Uh, so that's a really good gain of 23 yards. Um, kind of looks like they're on the Wildcat again, but Willis is dancing outside. And he gets a 10-yard gain, which should bring up first down. And let's see what they do here. Yep, again, it's going to be a short gain as they hand the ball off to Willis, who has had a quiet game. Um, so Zelensky drops back. Uh, let's see who he's aiming for. He's throwing the Jackson, but it's picked off. Uh, so As Asbury, who's the free safety for Pittsburgh, picks it off and returns it for 11 yards. Uh, if Pittsburgh can score here, that may put this game a little bit out of reach. But again, we got lots of time. It's third quarter, minute 54 left. Um, Faison tries to throw the ball to deal. Barreto broke it up again. Faison drops back. He's going to look downfield and find Steele this time. Getting it in there past Barreto for seven yards. It'll bring up third and two. Um, Faison looking to throw again. This time he finds right for five yards in the first down. Um, chewing up clock at this point. 44 seconds left in the third. And Faison's going to drop back yet again. And he's throwing it to deal, completes the pass over Barreto for 10 yards. Um, and with 14 seconds, this is probably the last play of the third quarter. Um, 
they hand off to Lackey, and Lackey only makes a yard before they stop him. So we're in the fourth quarter now. Uh, again, Faison's having a really good game, so is the Lackey on offense. Um, Faison's going to drop back. There's a lot of blitz still. Um, he does find right for nine yards, so he manages to get rid of it. And we're going to see uh, Lackey run for two yards this time. Faison drops back again, and he's got time, but there's pressure. We'll see if he completes this. He does. Find Steele, who's finally run down by Oliver uh, after 14 yards, which gives Pittsburgh a first and goal, I think, at like the eight. Uh, so again, he's got time. Every time he's got time, he's made something of it. That one, he doesn't. Aiming for Flores, who already has two touchdowns on the day. Uh, see what it they do. Hill, they drop back. It looks like they're going... Yep. He throws it to Tolliver. Tolliver's in for eight yards for the touchdown. It's now 42-20 to 20 with 12 minutes left in the fourth. Carolina is capable of scoring a lot of points. Um, so definitely they need to make something of this drive. Otherwise, um, it may be too much. They're going to get a return off this one because that one was kicked short. And it's a really good return. Um, Null brings it out and has like a 33-yard return. Let's see what they do here. They hand the ball off, um, and it's Willis for five before Asbury brings him down. And Zelensky's going to drop back. Throws the ball. It's incomplete, but Spite gets called for defensive pass interference. So uh, that helps him move the first and 10 on the Carolina 44. He's getting some pressure on him, but he doesn't complete to Schumacher, who's relatively wide open. It looked like Pittsburgh was playing his own. So it's second and 10 at the Carolina 44. Zelensky drops back. He's throwing, and this is picked off. Uh, so it looks like he was aiming for Schumacher, and Spike picked it off this time. Uh, returned that 10 yards, so Pittsburgh will get the ball back. Um, if Pittsburgh scores here, that may be uh, that may be a backbreaker. So Faison drops back. He's got time, lots of time, and that he finds Tolliver. Uh, Tolliver is running. Will they get him? And they do. They get him 53 yards, uh, which means it's first and goal now on the what one. So Carolina definitely cannot let Pittsburgh score here. Um, so he throws it. It's incomplete to Tolliver. Um, call it. Lackey's running it. They stop Lackey cold. Robinson's in on it this time. I won't be shocked if they try Lackey again, Hill. They do, and he's hit in the backfield by Ramsey. That will likely force uh, Pittsburgh to go for a field goal, and they do. Clark is pretty automatic at that range. So it's 45-20 to 20 Pittsburgh with 6.58 left in the fourth. Um, a lot of things are going to have to go right for Carolina to be able to win this one. Um, so Clark again sends it through the back of the end zone. Let's see how they come out. It looks like a wildcat. Uh, this looks like it's going to Willis, who Gets 13 yards, really good run there. Um, and now they're going to hand it off to Willis again. Willis gets four yards this time. Uh, so really good for him. And they're going to drop back. There's lots of pressure on Pacheco gets the sack. Uh, I think that's his second on the night. Um, Pittsburgh may be able to just pin the rails back and come in on this one. It looks like it's a corner sack, and Spike gets it for nine yards. So he has an interception and a sack at this point. Um, Carolina is likely going to go for this. They pretty much have to. Uh, so it's fourth and 21. Um, 
Zelensky has Schumacher open if he can get it to him, but he throws to Batiste instead, and that will force the turnover on downs. Um, so Pittsburgh getting a really good run hill, but it's called back for Romero having a hold. I think that was Lentz probably running the ball at this point because Lackey may be taking time off. Uh, so Zelensky drops back. He's looking, and it's broken up by Barreto. Um, so we'll see again. Zelensky's going to drop back again. This time he throws it. He finds Phelps, who's the tight end, for 10 yards. With 2.14 left, this game's pretty much decided. But Negret gets a sack. Uh, so Faison gets knocked down. Um, Carolina, of course, calls a timeout. Pittsburgh will have to kick a 51-yard field goal. And it is good. So it is now 48 to 20. Um, Pittsburgh kicks off again. Let's see if this won't go through the back of the end zone. It does. Uh, be interesting to see how many times Clark can kicked it through the back of the end zone. Um, Zelensky's got some time. He's going to try to throw the ball. Uh, I think that's null. For 29 yards, he found the ball before being tackled by Asbury. Um, Carolina, at this point with 134, is just playing for pride. Uh, so he's got time, and he finds King for three yards this time. So they're moving the ball. Um, Zelensky again looking to pass. He has Jackson and... It overthrows them, it looks like. And it's third and six on the Pittsburgh 42. They're going to throw the ball here more than likely. So he throws it to Null, and it's picked off uh, this time by Jefferson, who is really going far with this one. Who goes 61 yards before he's tackled. Um, so probably Pittsburgh. I'm hoping Pittsburgh will run the ball hill um, and not throw it. Um, so they hand it, and Lackey goes for negative one. Um, so he loses a yard on that. They're going to hand it off again. There's no shock from Carolina what Pittsburgh is doing. That's a zero-yard gain. Uh, Lentz tries to run it. Zero-yard gain again. Uh, so Pittsburgh will likely kick the field goal. It's a 26-yard field goal, and it's good, which gives them a 51-20 to 20 lead. Uh, so we'll kick it off again. That one didn't go out the back of the end zone, so good return by Willis. Uh, probably should let that one go. Um, but uh, this will likely be the last play of the game. Maybe two plays left. Zelensky is going to throw the ball. Uh, he tries to find Null and finds him for 17 yards before Doherty knocks him down. And that will bring the end of the game. So the champions of the season are the Pittsburgh Steelers um, who down the Carolina Panthers 51-20. to uh, If we look at the box score real quick, um, the player of the game was Gerardo Faison. Makes sense. I mean, he had 376 yards, three touchdowns. The defensive player of the game, I would have said it's between Asbury or um, Spite. They both had pretty good games. So six tackles, one sack, one interception. Um, one for eight on third downs probably really hurt Carolina. Pittsburgh didn't massively outgain them. Uh, the two teams were relatively close. Pittsburgh a little bit more penalized. Um, then uh, Carolina, and then of course, what probably really sunk Carolina was the three turnovers. So it was a tell of two halves. The first half was really close, and then the second half was just all Pittsburgh. Um, so if you look at the breakdown, is Flores had a really good game with two touchdowns, six receptions for 114 yards. Uh, Lackey had 18 rushes for 105 yards with three touchdowns. Um, Zelensky, that is one of the worst games I've seen from him. Uh, he was under a lot of pressure, so 
there were at least five sacks. Um, I think this may have been different in the second half if Maddox hadn't gotten hurt, but we don't. I don't know. Um, Clark had a really good game, so did Taylor. Uh, both kickers were at the best. Um, and then if you look here, there were five sacks, of course, with Pacheco getting two. But what you also have is one hurry, uh, two, four, six knockdowns. So they, they were getting pressure on him pretty much the whole game. Uh, versus on the opposite side, you have two sacks and three hurries and really only one knockdown. So Faison was able, faced a lot less pressure. Uh, and then, of course, McClendon had a really good game with 14 pancakes, Poland with 10, although he did give up a sack. And then on the opposite side, Knotts had a pretty good game. So all in all, um, really good game from these two teams. Uh, congrats, Invisible, on what was a really good season. Um, Pittsburgh finishes the year undefeated. Carolina finishes the year with one loss. Um, and you can see that hill. Uh, I think when we go back and we look at just the season and as a whole, uh, LA had a really good year this year with Barry, with our quarterback Goldman, who's out of Texas. See, 12 and 4. Um, Brian had an exceptional year with Detroit at 13 and 3. Um, and maybe next year he'll go deeper into the playoffs. Uh, and then Oakland and Pittsburgh, of course, met in the conference finals, but both New England and New York showed up well uh, there as well. So it was just a really good year in general um, for a lot of the teams. Uh, the voting will now happen for um, awards. Uh, I do have to sadly say that Spoof will be leaving Seattle at the end of the season. Um, he's just got a lot going on, but that's a big blow to the league. So if you're interested, Seattle is a really, really good team. It's a hard conference, but I would say that they're a great team to take a look at. Arizona's open, Philadelphia's open, New Orleans is open, uh, Baltimore and Cleveland, or I'm sorry, Baltimore and Cincinnati, Cleveland's bio. Uh, Indianapolis and Jacksonville uh, are open. Um, the Buffalo Bills are open. I think Kansas City is now open. But there are some really good teams to take for this coming season. If you want to get one of the top draft picks in the league this year, uh, Arizona, Kansas City, Cincinnati is a great way to start building your roster. Um, and that is it for now, other than just a quick look at who are the people that are vying for the different awards. So if you look at it, really offensive MVP, no matter what Peter says, is between Crutchell and Johnson. Crutchell had 6,700 passing yards. Johnson had 5,883 passing yards. Just bear in mind he had less attempts too. That does matter. 70 touchdowns, 79. Again, less uh attempts. Um, rushing yards, Nathan Ford took the rushing title, but Jeremy Garcia had a pretty special year uh, in Atlanta, and that's um, Kevin's team now with 22 rushing touchdowns. Uh, receiving, not a shock that you see a uh, Jet up there. The Jets throw the ball really well, so C.J. Kelly had almost 2,000 yards on the season, so congrats to him as well. Um, so other people just to call out real quick is I'm trying to remember who were the candidates actually. I think Sam Major was one of them uh, with Philadelphia with 120 tackles. Uh, Dustin Sousa definitely was one of them with 13 sacks. This guy's just all award um, in many regards. Yeah, Major was the other one because he had eight sacks. Uh, and to go with that. And then you had Amos Barrett, who was one of the other contenders for defensive MVP. Rookie of the year will be interesting to see who that goes to, but I'm going to go ahead and close out this uh, recording now. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Sorry for the mess up yesterday and just wanted to redo this because I know that there were some issues. Have a great night. Thanks. Bye.